going on. But we're cool with that. It means we can move quickly and we don't have to you know, get lots of yeses from lots of different people. We make a decision and we have a crack. The social media is interesting. This global truce, the reason why global truce exists is that in Afghanistan in 2008, so the following year, the UN, after we'd done it that first time, the UN's Department of Security and Safety came out with a statement saying that violence was down in Afghanistan by 70% on the day, on the day of peace, that violence was down by 70%. And that amazed me. I was like, wow. And I kept thinking about it for months, like 70%, violence down by 70%, wow. What if, therefore, we could create a day where we reduce violence on a global scale? I mean, if you can do it in Afghanistan, and that was the place that everybody said it was impossible, surely we could do it globally, because, well, we, we, we surely could. I mean, it makes total sense that we could. And that's what Global Truce is, was to say, okay, this year, just gone, we will try to reduce violence globally and measure it by, by activating the most amount of people that have ever stood together in the name of peace. And that's what Global Truce is. And McKinsey are becoming fundamentally important to it about setting the marker of exactly where we were only weeks ago. The life-saving initiatives I told you about, many of your organisations were involved. Global Truce, as part of that initiative to reduce violence on a day, we built coalitions. An NGO coalition, over 400 NGOs active on the day, only weeks ago. We built a domestic violence coalition led by Baroness Scotland, because the greatest violence that will happen today is not with an AK-47, of course it's with a fist, and mainly against women, and we all know that that's the violence that we need to look at in our homes, in our communities, and in our schools, we need to look at that violence and we need to address it, and that violence is relevant on a day of non-violence, and it's really important and it's deeply profound. So that's the life-saving side of things. The education, traveling the world, from the beginning I was always in schools, and we now have a global education resource I'm delighted to say is funded by Skype, it's in the six official languages of the United Nations. We've seen registration in 197 countries, and when I sit with various people, the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court of Justice or whoever, and say, when is this place gonna shut? And he says, when we give peace education you know, to every young person on the planet, when we give them the tools to become the peacemakers, to let them know that they can make a difference and they can change the world and that their actions count. And actually, you guys are the key to it because the only way that that's gonna happen is through investment. And so to be talking in front of a group of fundraisers is obviously a massive honor because you are the key to the kind of peace that we want to see. So education, fundamental. The annual celebrations, music, getting the message out there has been really important. Music is a great driver, making films and utilizing football, one day, one goal. The way we funded it is with corporate relations because I was running around trying to get a little bit, I mean, it just wasn't working. And I, it was when I started to go to the corporate sector and say, listen, will you invest in this process? We will give you our values. You can, uh, and effectively, you can, you can communicate that message out. You can engage your workforce, engage your product, and we create a bespoke opportunity together. But if you tell us what to do and how to do it, then there's no relationship. And that was a wonderful thing. I mean, working with the corporate sector, what Skype have done and what Dior have done and Google and Lotus. I mean, if you're into Formula One, the Peace One Day logo is on the front of the Lotus car. It makes me laugh, actually. I love it. So every time I see it, I think the peace process has never moved so fast. It's brilliant. <laughs> but, I mean, so, so the corporate sector is really being the way for us. I mean, we do, we set up lots of services, a patrons program, a shop, you know, a production company that makes films for NGOs who want to get a message out there. I mean, there are lots of ways we fund, but this is the bulk of it. And this has been very, very interesting and very successful for us. So Global Truth 2012, we had the results, you know, the other day that McKinsey are presently in the process of measuring on the 21st of September this year, was there the most amount of people ever engaged in the peace process before? And was there a reduction in violence as a consequence of that? I believe the answer to both of those things is yes. McKinsey is spending a fortune on finding out if that's the case. But whatever it is, for me, Getting to the top is completely irrelevant. As long as you set the bar, you just tell me how much further we've got to get the following year, because we're going to learn from everything that we just did in order to be able to get, bit, get a little bit higher each time. And the wonderful image of Gandhi earlier, who inspired me right at the beginning with that book, An Experiment with Truth, ultimately that's what this is.